Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today we are gonna be talking about the bags of my past, the bags that I have sold recently, things that are no longer in my collection, and why I sold half my collection. Um, yeah, the, the thumbnail is not a lie. I sold half my collection, maybe a little more than half to be honest. And I'm gonna talk about why, and I'm gonna talk about which bags I sold. I want to start by saying that my main goal in selling a lot of these bags was to put together a collection that I'm truly happy with. I do believe that there's such thing as purse piece and I think that with where I'm going, the direction that I'm going with everything, that is something that like I can actually feel and I feel really good about my collection and where it is right now. I am going to do a handbag collection video but right now I am, so I'm in my old apartment but I'm moving in eight days. <laughs> I'm starting a new job in two, three days and I just have, there's a lot that's happening right now so <laughs> all my bags are packed up. So I figured I'd do this video because I could talk about them, the ones that are no longer here because I wasn't going to bring them out anyway because I don't have them. Um, so I could do this video now and then I will do a handbag collection video once I get to my new place. So I think we're going to do it that way. But you guys, I will share a new handbag collection video with you because a lot of things have changed, like I said. So anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and get into the bags that I have sold and then we'll talk a little bit more about why as we go through. Also, if I sound or look tired, it's because I am. There's just a lot going on. It's also kind of early right now. It's like 7 a.m. Um, I usually get up early, but I don't usually like film super early. So here we are. <laughs> so I have a list on my phone, by the way. Uh, but the first one, I want to talk about the one that was most shocking to me because I think it'll be shocking to you if you know me. My black Chanel Jumbo. Sold it. I sold it. I, I, it was caviar. Uh, silver hardware and I that was my second Chanel bag that I ever got the first one that I got was a pink stingray bag which I sold a long time ago and then I got this one and I fell in love with the jumbo like the jumbo is my favorite size of the Chanel classic flap but I found myself reaching for my beige Claire jumbo more often than my black one and my goal in selling some of these bags was to get a Kelly bag so I knew that that's what I wanted, I knew that that's what I was saving up for, and I wanted to sell enough bags to um, to pay for the Kelly, and then I also sold more than, more than enough bags to pay for it, so I bought some other stuff too. My last haul video, by the way, was paid for by bags that I sold, and I also bought two other bags that I haven't shown you guys yet, but I will. Um, so yeah, I wanted, my goal was to get the Kelly, right? So I sold my Chanel Jumbo because I was like, hey, I'm not reaching for this as much anymore. As much as I love that bag, I like it because of the size, because of the color, all of that, but I wear all black most of the time. So when I was wearing a black bag, it was just like blending into everything and I don't normally have a problem with that, but for some reason the beige just would set off the outfit and it make it look way cuter. So I was reaching for the beige Claire more often and I was like, if that's what I'm going for, then I'm going to sell the jumbo because that's like a good chunk of money that I could use toward the Kelly. So I'm really glad that I did that. I don't miss that bag at all. I don't feel... I'm not, I'm not a person that's really like sentimental when it comes to bags. I can love them, but I also know when it's time for them to go because if I want to change the things around in my collection, which I like to do, I want to use the money from the bags that I'm not using because they're not doing me any good on the shelf. Like I can't, they're not doing me any good on the shelf. They're just not. So I let go of that bag. I'm totally okay with it. I think it's still an amazing bag. I highly recommend the Chanel Jumbo. Not at the price they charge it now though, because if you can find a good deal pre-love, then go for it. But at the prices that they're charging now, they charge in Birkin prices for a Chanel Jumbo and I'm not about it. But this isn't about the price increases. Enough people have talked about that already. Um, I already made a video about how I'm no longer buying Chanel like a while back. It was the la it was not this price increase. It was the one before that or the one before that. I don't know. But some down, somewhere down along the line, I decided to stop buying Chanel and I stand by that. <laughs> The next one is my Gucci fanny pack. Oh my gosh. So if there were ever a bag to have like sentimental value to me to a point where I wouldn't want to sell it, I guess it would be this bag, but I did sell it and I, I don't mind. I don't regret it at all. But my Gucci, I'm trying to set my phone on the floor. <laughs> so when I moved to LA about four years ago, I got this sales job and I, um, it took probably about like three or four months in the beginning to start getting paid good commission, like a lot of sales jobs. So I remember my first big commission check, I went down to Rodeo Drive and I went to the Gucci store and I had picked out this, this fanny pack online and they just happened to have still one left in store. And my experience there was so nice and that was like my first time shopping on Rodeo Drive. This is the only time I ever bought anything from Rodeo Drive, to be honest. I, I normally buy everything pre-owned anyway, but... 
that was such a good experience and it was just so nice to be able to like do something that was like oh this is like my first big commission check like this I'm gonna get something for myself and that was really cool and I love that experience and then I wore the crap out of this Gucci bag like I loved it so much so when I got that fanny pack it was at a time where I was going out to like a lot of clubs a lot of bars like all the time and I've probably taken this fanny pack to like every club in LA like I'm not gonna lie like this fanny pack went with me everywhere and it was one of my favorite things and I just loved it so much but then I don't use it as much anymore so now now I don't really use it at all I haven't really used it in the last couple years or so so I was like you know what let me go ahead and sell it I got more than my I think it's paid $700 for it I got more than $700 worth of use out of it I've probably worn it like I've worn it so much like I wore it every day just about so I've gotten tons and tons of use out of it out of it and now it's time for somebody else to use it and love it and I am totally okay with that <laughs> next one I sold my Lady Dior bag I had a pink Lady Dior bag I think it was a size medium I don't really know like I'm not really like a big Dior person and I went through a Dior phase I might as well talk about the fact that I sold my Dior saddlebag as well right now because both of those kind of go together. Those are my only two Dior bags and I sold them. I bought them both around the same time because I went through like a month where I was really into Dior. And the reason that I was really into it was because when I went to Hawaii, I went to the Dior store. I did a vlog on it. I will link it link it down in the description uh, so you guys can watch it if you want to. But Sunny and I went to the Dior store and there's no tax at the one that we went to. And also they have discounted prices since it's in Hawaii. So I bought a saddlebag. I bought a black saddlebag with gold hardware. And I was just really excited about it. It was a really good price. I felt like I felt like I was going to use it, but I knew that I was going to sell it eventually because it's just not really like, it's not a classic bag. I, it's a trendy bag. It's not, a, it's not, I guess you could call it a classic bag, but it's not always in style, if that makes sense. So maybe it's not a classic. I don't know. I don't count it as a classic bag. So I knew that at some point I was going to sell it, but I knew that since I got it at such a good price, brand new, if I sold it, I would either break even or like maybe just lose a little bit of money. So I felt totally safe buying it, so I bought it. And then I was like, I kind of also want a Lady Dior because when I saw them at the Dior store, I just thought they were so pretty. And I found a really good price for one uh, pre-loved. I bought it and I never wore it. I think I wore it like twice. So that was a no-brainer. I was like, I gotta sell this. I did wear my saddlebag more, but um, both of those, I'm fine with letting them go. I think that they're nice bags, but I just, they don't do anything for me. Like. They, like, there's some bags that just make my heart happy when I wear them and when I use them, but those ones just didn't really do anything for me, so I didn't lose money on them, and I got to use them for a little bit, so I'm happy about that, and I'm, I'm good with that. The next bag that I sold is a bag that I probably should have sold a long time ago, but I'm actually glad I sold it now because I got more money for it than I would have then, and it's my Chanel Medium Navy Blue bag, and I, as soon as I got this bag, I, I thought I was going to return it and I didn't like the size medium I didn't like like I liked the color of it but for some reason the caviar like leather with the medium just it just seemed I just didn't like it I didn't like the size I didn't like like how it felt and maybe I would feel differently if it was lambskin or something like that but I just didn't that bag didn't feel luxurious for me and for the price it should have felt luxurious is what I'm gonna say and I ended up wearing this more often like toward, within the last year so I did get quite a bit of use out of it in the last year but I sold it because it doesn't I don't have any connection to that bag I don't feel like it's a staple in my bag collection like I, I have to try to reach for it and at that point that's something that I can let go of and I'm totally okay with that a lot of people were like don't sell it but I sold it because I if if it doesn't speak to me anymore it doesn't speak to me anymore and I only want bags in my collection that I really love and I I, I knew from the beginning that I didn't really love that bag and I tried to love it I made a very good effort to love it because it was a Chanel medium you're supposed to love it right and it just didn't work out for me so I sold it and no regrets <laughs> oh my multi pochette I forgot about that I sold that a while back actually I didn't sell that to get the Kelly um, I sold that a while back and I actually got like so I bought it pre love no I bought it new I bought that bag new and I sold it for more than what I bought it for which is crazy and I actually sold it on fashion file because usually their quotes are a little low but um I, I only made like a hundred dollars on it or something but still I used that bag I used it while I was in Hawaii um I used it for a little bit after that but I just I think that I thought that it was gonna be like an edgy vibe because I really I like I have more like an of an edgy style but it really wasn't I 
it just wasn't for me like I'm glad that I got it because I get to try it out and I'll never wonder what it's like to have that bag or like I don't want it anymore because I've, I've tried it out and I've had it and I've experienced it but <laughs> it just wasn't for me and I'm glad that I, I didn't lose money on it which is really good but that bag wasn't for me so yeah um, my LV can bag can bag can is that how you say it because I hear people say con cans bag I don't know y'all know what I'm talking about though but I think it's I think it's the can bag and I love that bag I'm gonna be honest that was probably one of my like favorite looking bags that I've ever had I really like it a lot and I I thought about keeping it but I like to wear it to brunch and that's about it like that's that's my brunch bag and I don't really feel like I need a brunch bag because I don't go to brunch that often like <laughs> I'm like I don't need to have this bag that's like that I could have actual like money for um, or use it toward another bag that I could use on a more daily basis if I only take it to one type of thing and I didn't take it to every brunch I just took it to brunch sometimes so like there was no point in me having that bag but I really love it I think that that is one of my favorite bags I love seeing it on people I I if you are thinking about getting that bag please get it it's amazing I love it like you'll love it I just I I don't think that it went with my normal style I think that it went more with like when I'm wearing like a cute white top and like jeans and I have that bag and I just don't do that all that often like usually like I said I wear like mostly black and I like to just like you know have something that just complements my outfit well and not have to like wear like a white top or wear something specific for it to fit with me um so that's why it didn't work out for me but I love that bag like out of all the bags that I sold I think that I had the most love for that one probably because I think it's just beautiful I think it's such a unique shape I love it I think that if you if you are thinking about buying it and you think you're gonna use it and it goes with your style do it because I love that bag <laughs> And then last but not least for bags uh, is a Chanel Boy. So I sold my Chanel Boy. I really like the Chanel Boy bag. I love the way that it feels. Like the leather on it is so soft. Like I just love touching it. It's amazing. The problem that I have with this bag, and it goes with my style very well, but the problem that I have with this bag is that the sides, if you turn, if you have like lip gloss or like small things in there and you turn the bag to the side at any point, like you're just in the car, you set your bag down, it falls to the side or something like that. You pick it up the wrong way, you accidentally tilt it sideways. All your stuff is coming out the hole in the side. All of it. Like, I don't know how there could be such a design flaw. And I don't hear that people talk about it. Like, I don't hear anybody saying this about the boy bag. Because honestly, that was a deal breaker for me. And I, at first, it wasn't. Because I love the bag so much. I was like, I'm going to keep it. I'll just be careful. And you know, after a certain number of times of your stuff falling out the side, you're like, you know what, this is not worth it. And I sold it because I couldn't take it anymore. I really like that bag though. It looks nice. I love the way that it feels. Like the feel of it is probably my favorite part. It's so, so soft. But I couldn't do with it anymore. If you want to use like an SLG inside, like maybe a cosmetic pouch or something, and then like use it so that way your stuff doesn't fall out the side, by all means, do that if it's worth it to you. I just had to let it go because... I, I can't take it anymore. So that's it for bags, but I also sold quite a few shoes on eBay. I sold a Burberry hat um, to rebag. I sold, so I sold quite a few different things. I'm just really trying to clear out a lot of stuff that I don't use um, before I move. So that's essentially what was going on for part of it and to, as to why like I sold a lot of things. So I didn't just sell designer shoes on eBay. I sold a bunch of shoes actually. And I've been trying to just bring down what I have to a point where I'll actually use it. Um, so that's why I sold about half my collection. Part of it was to get the Kelly bag and then uh, the two other bags that I got, which they're not they're not like Birkins or Kelly's or anything, but um, I will show you guys what they are soon. But um, that's essentially what I used to pay for it. So I had like what, how many bags go out and then three come in. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I sold eight bags and I bought three bags. So yeah, that's that's about where my collection is now. So yeah, like I said, I will do a handbag collection video once I get all settled into the new place. I have no regrets with the bags that I sold. Um, let me know in the comments, because I, I don't feel like I think about them anymore after I sold them. Let me know in the comments if you guys have any bags that you've sold and that you regret, because I know that some people really do. And some people don't like to sell their bags at all, which I totally understand. If you get like emotionally attached to them, I get it. Like you don't want to let go of them because it's a bag that you've used for a while, like, and you have kind of like a feeling for it. Um, I'm okay with letting stuff go, but that's just me and I totally understand when you want to hold on to things longer because it's 
personal preference. But yeah, let me know if you guys have ever sold a bag and regretted it in the comments. I would love to hear about it because I, I know it's gotta be a tough feeling. There's only one bag that I've sold and I felt like I regretted it. And that was years ago. Like it was like maybe five years ago. And it was a, um, a Celine Nano and I miss that bag so much. And I know I could buy another one, but I don't think it would mean the same thing to me as it meant to me then. And that's why I haven't. Um, but I love that bag. That was my, that was my regret. That was my one regret. <laughs> but let me know if you guys have any handbag regrets in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this one. Also, turn on the bell notification if you want to be notified when I upload. I am back to uploading consistently, so I will be here. <laughs> so make sure to hit the bell notification. Also, if you want to follow me on Instagram, I'll put my Instagram right here. It is swanxdawn, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys!